Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker training course based on CEH certification program by Easy Council. Module Trojan section Introduction to Trojans. So we are going to cover these topics in this session. What is Trojan? What Trojans do? Types of Trojans and all this. A Trojan has or uh, a Trojan is any malicious software program which misleads user of its true intent. Trojans are delivered as part of genuine software or game by using wrappers. Wrappers make them a single executable and when installed, user do not notice that a Trojan is being installed in the back door along with the genuine application. The term is derived from the ancient Greek story of deceptive wooden horse that led to the fall of the city of Troy. Ransomware attacks are often carried out using a Trojan. Unlike virus and worms, Trojans do not propagate themselves. Trojans are generally spread by some form of social engineering, like attempting to open an email attachment, disguised to be unsuspicious, or by fake downloads. Hackers find many ways to distribute Trojans. It can be a freeware, IM attachments, spyware removal tools, screen servers, games, etc. A simple example to understand a Trojan horse is like a flower booking with a bomb inside it. This is a genuine software and this is a Trojan. Both are binded together in a single package. Genuine software installs at the front end and the Trojan installs at the back end unnoticed by the user. The Trojan story quickly once again. When the defeat is inevitable after many attempts, Greeks played a trick to defeat Troy people. They built a large wooden house with soldiers inside and left it at the borders of the Troy with a message of accepting defeat. The people of Troy were happy and pulled the wooden house into the city despite the queen warning them of a foul game. During the night, soldiers who were hiding inside the house came out, opened the city's gates to let the Greek army to enter and capture Troy. As an ethical hacker, it's always a challenging to scan and identify the Trojans. Trojans are used for various purposes as hacker wishes, like creating and maintaining backdoors. Trojans install backdoors to maintain access to the compromised system and install other malware. Spying, spyware. Trojans act like spyware, watch victims' activity, and grab sensitive personal information back to their master. Use your system as a zombie. Hacker uses victims' system to carry out further attacks. Trojans cover their tracks to avoid caching them. Some governments use a software, go where, or typically a Trojan, that is to intercept communication from target computer in the national interest. Trojans can be created and used to perform different attacks. Here are some of the most common types of Trojans. RATS, Remote Access Trojans. These are used to gain remote access to a system. Data Sending Trojans. These scan the system and find the data and deliver it to the hacker. Destructive Trojans. They are used to delete corrupt files on the system. Denial of Service Trojans. They are used to launch a denial of service attack, a distributed denial of service, DOS or DDoS attack on the target. Proxy Trojans. They are used to tunnel the traffic or launch hacking attacks via other systems. FTP Trojans. They are used to create an FTP server in order to copy files onto the system. Security Software Disabler Trojans. These are used to stop anti-malware, antivirus softwares on the compromised system. As we know that a Trojan is any malicious software program which misleads user of its true intent. It gets installed along with the genuine software at the back end. Hackers access Trojan system and conduct many types of attacks. Hacker installs a Trojan program which allows him to access the system from outside, remote location. Commands are sent by the master and are executed on the victim's system. Overt channel is legitimate one to send communication and data. Overt is open and legal applications like calculator, paint, etc. 
covered channel is illegitimate channel violating security policy and stealing data trojans exploit over channel to create covered channel covert is secret or hidden like trojan keylogger etc uh, trojans do not propagate themselves and they must be installed remotely or mimic the user to install them trojans can get into a system by any of these means Hackers play intelligently and try all the means to get unnoticed. However, when a system is infected with a Trojan, unexpected changes, unusual activity, performance degrading may happen. Some other indications as Trojan is doing backdoor activity can be loss of some files, changed passwords, browser opens new sites automatically, customization may be altered, wallpaper, background settings, screensaver settings, may be changed. These are all to facilitate the hacker to fulfill his objectives. Rappers attach a Trojan with a genuine EXE and make them a single executable. When the genuine software is installed, user do not notice that a Trojan is also being installed in the backend along with the genuine application in the front end. Hackers generally choose games, popular apps to spread Trojans. Trojans are created using construction kit. The kit contains various components to facilitate the creation, distribution and maintenance of Trojan programs. They have built-in mechanisms of hiding, persistent backdoor access, clearing tracks, detection avoidance and removal by anti-malware security softwares. These are the general ports used by the Trojans. These are popular Trojans and these are the ports. Next stat is a simple CLI utility, which displays active TCP connections, ports on which the computer is listening, Ethernet statistics, IP routing table, IPv4 and IPv6 statistics. Without any parameters, NetStat displays active TCP connections. With parameters and switches, we can explore more detailed information. Notable Trojans are classified like private and governmental. Examples include Da Vinci, Magic Lantern, Barrier Pride, etc. Governmental Trojans are implemented in the nation's interest. Publicly available Trojans are Beast, Sub7, Dark Comet, Mini and Mega Panger, etc. Trojans detected by the security researchers are Flashback, Zero Access, Tiny Banker, Shedden, etc. Let us know about the tiny difference between virus, worm, and trojan. Virus is a malicious software which can replicate itself with human intervention. Worm, it's like a virus which replicates and spreads itself without any intervention. Trojan horse is a malicious program that appears harmless. Trojans do not propagate themselves like virus and worm. Thanks for watching.